Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Jim Bostock. In this channel, The Nerve Needle Guy, we changed the concept to start afresh because I want to bring you more clear information and tips, advice, suggestions, ways to fix your chronic pain. The pains that have limited you, debilitated you, you've struggled with. Wit's end, I've been told this is all in my head problems. I want to share with you and give you my advice from the last 20 years of working with people who are in your exact position. In this video, I want to talk about nerve locks, this terminology that I talk about all the time, this concept that I created over the last 19 years of my own personal research journey, clinical studies in my private practice of over 100,000 cases now where I've been personally involved, getting constant feedback, receiving comments, understandings, revelations, feedback on their pain progress, weeks, months, years from every patient. I've been working diligently, vigilantly on helping everyone complete their pain journey. And from that, I created this concept of nerve locks. It's a terminology that I created because it made sense. Nerves that are sitting in parts of your body that are limiting you right now. Your nerves are unhappy. And think about little seeds of rice sitting in, for example, your shoulder or your traps. And 10 of them, we'll keep it simple, went to sleep. And they've been shut down and locked, locked, for weeks, months, years. Insane how the body does this. And I designed a needle treatment. Unlike acupuncture, it's not acupuncture. Unlike dry needling for trigger points. Trigger point physiology, nerve locks are similar to. I did derive the treatment technique from dry needling for trigger points. However, in a moment I'll explain a significant difference but it's unlike dry needling for trigger points it's not that at all the prognosis is very different i'll just make sure that's clear up front i changed the needle size the gauge is now 0.3 to 0.4 depending on the area i go in the body and the length of the needles change also depending on where i go Think about those seeds that I talk about, those rice seedlings that went to sleep. The needle goes directly into the muscle fascia. It can exist in muscle. It can exist in blood vessel fascia. It can exist in nervous system, nerve fiber fascia. It can exist in bone fascia. Nerve locks can be there. I go with the needle and I literally hit and reset. Control, alt, delete, unlock. I always say reset the nerve locks and everything comes back. It reconnects with the brain, the computer system of our bodies. You can finally feel and activate the muscles in the region properly again. It feels good. Pain disappears immediately. Full function returns. Or it gives your body the chance now, the window of opportunity to finally get better re-strengthen the area back to normal. A lot of athletes, for example, who I meet, who have had surgeries, for example, and have felt their problem area is never the same. It just won't feel like the other side. I can't activate the muscles like I want to. I do all the great work. For example, my glutes, I do all the great work, but it's not coming on. I can never feel it activate or burn like I used to. These are nerve lock territories. So the needle goes in and resets, control alt deletes, and everything comes back. It returns the full function of the muscles in the region and pain dissipates. It's quite incredible how this happens. The Bostock needle technique, a concept and treatment I personally developed from my research of the anatomy and constant feedback from all my patients. I always believed that a human body should not need more than two treatments. Worst case, three. But wow, you should not need any more. The body just needs to be guided down the right path, given a nudge, and it does it itself. And this 
foundation drove me and motivated me, including all the thousands of patients who I'm so grateful for, giving me their feedback constantly to keep searching and make sure it works. It's a book that I'm currently creating. I discovered two new points last year still. I think this is the end. So I'm watching those points for a few years to make sure that everything is correct because I want to make sure when I bring you this knowledge and I'm doing so on all my social media channels that it's correct and it gives you definitive guidance. I will do my best to give you the best tips to end your pain journeys. Thank you all for your support in watching my videos. I hope they help you find the right path to end your pain journey. Until the next video, let's do it.